How's it going guys? So today I just bought this new 90 litre storage tub. I'm going to be going over how I set up and breed my wood roaches. part is complete we just put on we just cut out the lid and put a screen mesh over it for our ventilation and we just held it down with some silicon so because these wood roaches are able to climb up slippery surfaces such as the side of the tub that we're using you need to put in a barrier so that they can't climb past it and get out of the tub so what I'm using is this stuff it's called fluon or insect to stop, but most people know it as flu on. And uh, you paint it on the sides basically, and it's like a slippery, dry surface that they, they're not able to climb past. So, yeah, it keeps them in the tub. You can also use Vaseline around the sides, I've done that before. You can watch that in my old vid about this, but um, that is a bit more messy, and over time it like really deteriorates. So, uh, if you can get this stuff, I recommend it. Alright, so now we're going to put the flu on, on the inside of the tub. Alright, so there we have it. Just paint it on around the sides. It's best off to do it in from the top edge a bit so you don't rub it off with your finger if you're picking up the tub or whatever and just yeah about two or three inches thick should stop the roaches getting out now we just let it dry and then see how it goes dry and I got a bunch of roaches in here to test it out I've been watching them they've been trying to climb up and they've not been able to get past it so that's good so now I'll move as many roaches as I can into this out of the old tub so for those of you that don't know I actually already have a roach tub but the reason for doing this new one is so I can clean this one out because it's just filthy. So I'm starting this newer, bigger one that uh, can have even more roaches in and clean this one out starting again because this one I put Vaseline on the sides. As you can see now, after a while, it's just gone all gross and some of, in some of the heat wave days, it like melted a bit and started running down and stuff and it's just gross. So now moving everything over to the Fluon and uh, yeah, so now's the busy task of moving all these roaches into here. So yeah, it's a, it's a gross job, but it has to be done. So as you can see, they can't climb past it. They try, but they just slip and they can't do it. And eventually, after they keep doing it for a while, they'll just realize they can't do it and they'll just give up. They'll stop trying to climb up the walls as much. Yeah, there is a lot, and they're all trying it, but none of them are succeeding. All right, we've probably got about the majority of the roaches in here now. And I'll start talking about uh, breeding them. So, the key to breeding any sort of feeder insect for your animals is start with as many as you can so like this is definitely overkill right here but the more you have to start with the easier it will be to for them to start breeding and building up even more numbers so yeah when I first started with these <clears throat> I probably had about maybe as many as this in here 
and then yeah, it's just grown into this, and then everything that's still in there, and they don't stop. It's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, they're really easy to keep and breed. So I'll talk about what I feed them next. So for food, I just give them dry dog food biscuits. Really simple. You can also feed them like the specifically made stuff for insects. Like I know Apache does some stuff and whatever. I just find this works fine. But yeah. And then for their water, I just give them some carrot. And that's all they really need. Just dog food and carrot. That's all I've ever mostly given them. And as you can see, they've bred like crazy. So... Yeah, you can give them that, or just you can give them apple, any sort of fruit like that. I normally put it in a dish too, like this, just to uh, cut down a bit of the waste in the bottom. So, like when it's all eaten and there's waste in there, I can just scoop up the dish and chuck it out. So that's how I set up my roaches. Quick summary: you need a tub that is about 50 liters or bigger. You need a barrier for them so they can't escape. That being either fluon or Vaseline or something else. Look it up. Uh, you need hides for them, I use egg crates, and you need food, I use dog food and carrot and lettuce and all that for water. Now when it comes to actually breeding them, there's not really anything you have to do. If they're all together, they'll breed no problem. And uh, these guys give live birth, so you don't have to worry about incubating eggs or anything like crickets. So, yeah, and they all live together, don't, they don't eat each other, so one big self-sustaining colony, you just got to feed it, basically. It'll breed and produce. So as you can see, keeping and breeding roaches is not very hard, and uh, if you're a reptile keeper in Australia and you're not breeding roaches, I definitely recommend getting into it. They're a great feeder for your animals. And it's a lot cheaper than buying live food from suppliers. So thanks for watching, guys. I know this is a bit of a gross video, but it's an important part of keeping animals that need this sort of food. And uh, I'm just trying to get the knowledge out there for those who haven't done it before. So yeah, thanks for watching, and see you next time.